The eyeball reform has been and remains one of the top market changes that our clients are addressing. Due to its importance in terms of economic impact, number of desks and departments involved, and the complexity around never-ending market evolutions. We had hosted a webinar last year to present how important that reform was for Murex, the large R&D investments we had made to provide a complete solution from pricing, operations, risk management to head accounting, which translated into broad market recognition. At the time, we were thrilled to see many of our clients being able to trade new RFRs just a couple of days after delivering the package instruments. As an example, MX.3 powered many of the first RFR-based cross-currency swaps in many Asian markets in the course of 2020, particularly in Southeast Asia. Shortly after, our clients managed successfully the CCP discounting switch from Ionia to Eurostar on July 27, 2020, and from FedFin to SOFAR on October 19, 2020, using our dedicated tools and package procedures. Ever since, the discounting switch process has been continuing on the bilateral side of things, and the eyebrow package remains instrumental to create the right discounting curve and to seamlessly operate the discounting change on D-Day. In the past month, the market has evolved quickly. RFR hedging needs arose with the development of the RFR cash market, and investors have identified revenues opportunities on new RFR-based products. In turn, our sell-side clients have positioned themselves to get new shares on this market. In that context, as a software provider, Murex has been working to fulfill the resulting needs in terms of new payoffs and new analytics required to support these new instruments. If the catalogue of RFR products offered to buy-side firm and corporates started largely with linear payoffs back in 2019, the market focus for this reform has been leaning towards non-linear trading, with massive demands from all types of market practitioners in the past few months. In that context, we are extending a mixed three payoff catalogue in a timely manner with vanilla options and compounded RFRs like swaptions, cap floors and exchange traded option, vanilla Bermuda swaptions and callable swaps, and what's going to be available in the next weeks and months, the new RFR consent maturity swaps derivatives, cross-asset hybrid structures, such as swapped equity autocola and PRDC, often used as hedges on the back of structured bonds, exotic multi callable swaps, including embedded cap floors, range accruals, all these products are made available across the stack of business processes, from pricing to valuation, market risk, and XVA, accounting for a progressively decreasing of volatility of the underlying, which is an intrinsic feature of compounded rates, requires to revisit traditional modeling assumptions. This is the reason why a large proportion of our quants team has been focusing this year on R&D to provide proactively our client base with a solution to these specific challenges. Volatility decay modeling in vanilla options pricing. Adaptations of Hawaiian model to RFR. Adaptations of cross-asset hybrid diffusion models to account for RFR. And the development of the forward market model, the replacement of LIBOR market model, also known as BGM, in the new normal. To include RFR specificities in the modeling of complex rates payoff. Furthermore, the question of analytics adaptation cannot be raised without mentioning the question of performances. We strongly believe that this question of performances has been fundamentally underestimated by the market in general, and we are willing to contribute to the global awareness on the matter. First, on the linear side of things, where many books will massively shift from a mostly LIBOR composition to a mostly RFR composition. Compounded RFR being much more complex than LIBOR, practitioners cannot afford to just do nothing about performances. That would mean degrading timings of several key calculation processes by 50, 100, sometimes 200%. This is another front on which we have been actively working since 2019. The Murex IBOR solution encompasses performance accelerators for linear trades and compounded RFR, which in most cases allow keeping calculation times unchanged between the LIBOR world and the RFR world. Second, on nonlinear instruments and XVA calculations in general. As explained above, there is a significant disruption on the model which need to be used, and all practitioners must make sure they adapt models without degrading calculation time significantly. This is in the spirit that we are conducting all model changes mentioned above, ensuring that all RFR payoffs have good performances. Another timely sensitive aspect is related to the operational transitioning of thousands of trades in the years to come. While preparation work has started last year for many market participants, the announcement made by the FCA on March 5th regarding the actual end date of all LIBORs has triggered an acceleration in the preparation process, particularly regarding GBP, JPY and CHF, who will be terminated this year. 
Although a lot of details have been clarified already, the exact operational processes by which transitions will be executed are still being firmed up, and we are all together very busy preparing for this milestone. This work needs to embrace the whole scope of positions to transition. It also needs to embrace all business processes, from trading to operations, finance, and of course, enterprise-wide risk management. The Murex Cyborg Discontinuation Solution encompasses all these aspects while relying on four fundamental principles. It is flexible and adapts to the evolving context and the specificities of all product types mentioned above. It can be adapted to local flavors, including, for example, the complex question of the fallback of FX implied indices in Southeast Asia. It is designed with extensive consultations of important market players, such as big banks, clearing houses, market associations, and market infrastructures. It can be backported to existing releases. In summary, the next month are going to be very exciting and trust that we will be delighted to continue working with you all in order to enter the RFR era under the best conditions possible from a business point of view and from a technology point of view.